Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we're going to be talking about cabin air filters for your vehicle. Um, I have two different cabin air filters that we're looking at here. I have this one here, which is an activated carbon filter. And I have this one here, which is a standard cabin air filter. And what we're gonna be talking about in this video is what does activated carbon do? Um, how does it work? And how long does it last? These are all important things to know if you're interested in purchasing an activated carbon filter for your vehicle. Okay, so in the activated carbon filter here, the black layer that we see throughout, this is the activated carbon layer of the filter. Um, you may have also heard this referred to as activated charcoal. And what this layer is, is small bits of processed carbon that are very porous. And these can absorb volatile organic compounds or VOCs and odor molecules. Um, the activated charcoal or carbon layer does not filter out particles like dust and pollen. So you'll want to make sure that your filter is also designed to remove these. If we take a look at the package here that this filter came in, this does a good job of showing you the three different layers in this filter. Particulate layer, which is on top, you have the activated carbon layer in the middle, and then a reinforcement layer on the other side. Okay, so how long do these filters, cabin air filters, last and when do they need to be replaced? Unfortunately, there is no one number I can give you. Um, if you do refer to your owner's manual, it's going to have a scheduled maintenance guide in there, which will tell you when your cabin air filter needs to be replaced. Uh, but there are other factors that go into that as well, based on the quality of the filter, um, the use of your vehicle, the pollution level of the air, dust, pollen, etc. Um, you know, all of those things can affect how frequently you need to change your air filter. With the activated carbon air filters, um, these tend to need to be replaced more frequently than a standard cabin air filter. So, um, you know, many benefits to the activated carbon filter as far as what it can additionally help filter out, uh, but they do need to be, uh, tend to need to be replaced more frequently. All right, so how hard are these to replace? Well, oftentimes it's not too bad. Um, if you have a 2003 to 2008 Toyota Corolla, I'll link a video at the end of this video where I actually show you how to replace your cabin air filter. If you don't have a 2003 to 2008 Toyota Corolla, you can go to the internet, you can do some research and find out how your specific air filter is replaced, and then determine if it's something that you wanted to do yourself or if it's something that you wanted to bring to your mechanic. Okay, if you do decide to install the cabin air filter yourself, um, on the air filter, you're going to have an arrow that generally talks about the airflow direction of the filter. This is important because you need to know how to install the air filter in the proper direction so it works the way it's supposed to. Um, I actually have a video talking about this arrow that I'm going to link at the end of this video um, just so you can take a look if you have time and kind of understand that better. Okay, so it is important to check your cabin air filter regularly and ensure that it's clean and working properly. This can be something that's really easily forgotten because it's out of sight, out of mind. So whether you set a reminder in your phone or a different way, make sure that you do have a way to remind yourself to check your cabin air filter um, and make sure that it's clean and working the way that it should. By doing this, you can help improve the air quality and keep the air healthy inside of your vehicle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Whether you decide to go with an activated carbon or charcoal filter or a standard cabin air filter, hopefully this video gave a little bit of information about the differences between the two and specifically uh, the activated carbon filter itself. So thank you guys for watching and taking the time to check out this video. I do appreciate you guys and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.